You've probably noticed the time where you're playing a voice note on your phone and your hand covers the top of the phone and then the screen goes off. And when you remove your hand, the screen comes back on, sometimes even pausing the audio. For me, this happens on WhatsApp, but maybe for you, you have experienced this on a different app. You've probably also noticed this when you are making a call. So you have a call with someone and then you put your phone at your ear and then the phone screen automatically turns off. And when you remove your phone from your ear, the screen turns back on. What exactly is going on here? Well, mobile phone have something called a proximity sensor. Your phone uses this sensor to know if it is very close to something. For my iPhone, this sensor is located somewhere at the top here near the earpiece and I think this is the common location for many phones. But why does this sensor exist in the first place? Well, there are several use cases for this sensor but one very common use case is for during phone calls. During a phone call when you put your phone beside your ear, there are tendencies for your ear or cheeks to press different things on the phone. This might be changing settings or even sending a wrong message to someone. This can make you perform unintentional actions. So the job of the sensor is that the phone gets to the ear, the screen turns off, which means you can't press anything. And then when the phone is away from your ear, the screen turns back on. And this isn't just for the ear. If you also put your hand above the screen, like I showed you earlier, that also happens. Even when you put your phone in the pocket during a phone call, that also happens. As for how this sensor works without getting too technical. So the sensor located somewhere here emits infrared light rays. And because they are infrared light rays, your eyes cannot see them. But yeah, it emits that light rays and then it analyzes the reflection of those light rays. So if an object is this far away, when it emits those light rays and the light rays are reflected back, the sensor can see the reflection and then calculate the intensity of that reflection. So if an object is far away, the reflection will definitely be weak, more far away, even more weak or probably almost not even existent. But if my hand is very close or my ear or my pocket, wherever, then that reflection has a heavy signal and the sensor so using that heavy signal concludes that there is something very close to the phone. And different mobile phones can use this sensor for different purposes. Many years ago, I had an Android phone and whenever I covered the top of the Android phone, the screen always went off. Even if I wasn't listening to a voice note or I wasn't on a call, it always went off. Now, the benefit of that is if I leave my screen on and I put my phone in my pocket, well, I won't be able to perform any unintentional action because the screen would go off. But like in the case of my iPhone, unless I'm in a call or listening to a voice note if i put my phone in my pocket then bad things can happen so you might be using an iphone an android samsung google pixel whatever it is they may have different uses for this sensor samsung on their website even says that they have an improved sensor that only kicks in when the phone is close to the ear because it also detects the angle of the device. Some phones also use this sensor for audio routing. I think my iPhone actually does that too. So with audio routing, if you're playing a particular audio and it's on loudspeaker, when you put the phone close to the ear, then the audio will no longer play on loudspeaker. It will now play on the earpiece. If you're listening to this, please subscribe to my YouTube. The screen goes off, you don't really hear the sound anymore, but the sound is still playing. It's just playing at the top here, which is where the earpiece is located. So the earpiece is an audio output for very short distances and the loudspeaker on my iPhone, which is around here, is for audio output on long distances. So if I'm listening to a voice and it's coming from the loudspeaker, when I put it close to my ear, or put my hand deceiving the phone that it's the ear then it starts playing from the earpiece instead some other phones can also use this sensor to reduce or increase the volume so it might be high volume and then you put your phone close to the ear and then it reduces the volume different phones can be using this sensor for different purposes and this is why the screen protector you use for your phone really matters it's possible that the screen protector is not transparent enough and so it is given a hard reflection signal now back to the sensor and in that case on every phone call your screen will be off and you can't do anything because the screen protection keeps covering the sensor i saw a couple of cases online where people had complaints about their screen protectors always triggering the sensor like something was close to the sensor so we have seen the benefit of this proximity sensor but can you turn this off well on most androids i think you can on this website we see that by toggling sensors off you can turn off the proximity sensor but what you have have to note is that this turns off all other sensors like the microphone sensor the camera sensor and many others i'm not sure this is something you want to do but 
What about the iPhones? Well, I haven't seen any settings to turn this off. Anyways, that's why your phone does this automatic screen off and screen on to avoid unintentional actions on the screen and also to save battery while you are on a call or doing whatever the phone has been customized to do. I've actually been curious about this for many years now, since the years of my Android phone. I think I did a Google search at some point and I didn't really understand what I was saying, but recently I made a proper research and I got to understand what is happening and I hope that you also got to learn something from this information. If you enjoy more curious videos like this, please subscribe and also give this video a like if you enjoyed it.